Hi, this is Pierre from Opus on Granville Island. I'm here today to show you some techniques on some glazing and I'm going to be using some cold wax medium further exploring this painting and enhancing the light. I've already completed my underpainting in my intro to oil painting video, but if you're not quite sure how I got to this stage, just give it a watch before we go any further. So the first thing I'm going to do to this painting is apply some glazes and this is just to define where I want the lights to push. I'll be creating the glaze using a mixture of organic linseed oil from Opus and some Gambling Gal Kit. For the oil paints I'll be using the Opus Essential Oil Colors. So I'm just going to take my wash brush and put some of the medium on my palette and then I'm going to just go into the color I want and thin it right out within the medium itself. I'm going to start bringing in the light using a little bit of my glaze and some zinc white. I like to start with the farthest element in the painting. A glaze is basically applying a thin translucent paint and when applying it to an already dried oil painting it enriches your colors. We'll say you're doing a portrait brings out the skin tones or enhances the shadows. Down here on my chair, I'm just going to enhance the reds on it. Currently, it's like at a really rich mauve. And I'm going to apply some Elysium Crimson to just really enhance those reds. When you're looking for those shadows, sometimes it's good to actually put in a complementary color of the underpainting. Uh, and this will really give it a nice sense of depth. For the red in this chair, I'm going to use some a uh, little bit of green. The two colors complement each other, so therefore it works really well. Here on my wall, I've got a lot of light bouncing on it, so what I'm going to do is take a little bit of my medium and zinc white uh, and just brighten it up. Always keep in mind the direction of your light source when glazing. A glaze will enhance the luminosity of your light source and wherever the light is hitting. Sometimes for a glaze, I'll actually just thin it out even further using some mineral spirits and actually let it drip onto the painting. It creates some happy mistakes, as I call them, and then later on I can refine those, those drips, those areas. My brushwork, even during the glaze phase, is generally very loose. Just swishing the glaze around, working it in, and uh, wiping off the areas with uh, my uh, cotton rag. Glazes are meant to be applied in numerous layers of different colors and hues. Uh, make sure your first layer of glaze is dry before moving on to the next. So now that I've uh, refined uh, the glaze a little bit with my Opus Mezzo brush, I'm going to crack open some Gambling uh, Cold Wax Medium and my Liquitex Freestyle Knife just to add some textual elements uh, in some areas of this piece. Simply mix the wax with your oil paint. The more wax, the heavier the texture. Just mix it till you get the desired color and texture you want. On the footstool here, and this is just to get some of those uh, textures, a little bit of a pattern, a floral pattern on the footstool. Just getting the textures, reflected light from the window, bouncing on it nicely. Wax medium uh, will add a matte finish, so I like to mix some Gal Kid and linseed oil within it to add a sheen and also flexibility. So in this corner, I'm using some wax medium uh, and I've mixed a really nice brown with it. And I'm using the thickness that it's creating here just to enhance these uh, floorboards. So just applying some thick textures. Back here in the landscape, I'm just putting on some of the final touches actually, what you're seeing in the far distance. So I've got a little wax medium mixed in with a little bit of a green, a very light green and some yellow. I've got some sunlight bouncing onto this field. I uh, really want to get that punched right back. Some people like to use cold wax medium as a final varnish layer to really give it a matte, waxy texture. But covering wax over a loose substrate like canvas may cause some cracking if you use too much. So if you wish to cover an entire painting, I suggest maybe painting on wood panel. So now that I've incorporated the wax medium into the piece, I'm ready to bring it to the final stages and do some fine detailing with the Opus Legato brushes. And I also have here the Winsor Newton oil brushes just for some more textural elements. I'm going to use all the techniques I've showed you today just to bring this piece to a stage where I'm quite happy with it. To sort of bring the colors in from all over. Defining the window, the edges of the window, and getting some of that color of the foliage outside. Just pulling it in actually inside the piece. 
And I'm going to pull some of the colors of the chair and bounce that on the wall too. Sort of bring all those colors in and around the chair. Just enhancing these floorboards with the wax medium. I've just got a little bit of pigment inside of it, uh, but I'm just letting, I'm making it actually quite translucent. So you can actually see through the wax and the, the paint from below actually comes right through. It's kind of fun actually to paint on such a wet surface because I've done a lot of glazing. Mixing the wax medium and putting it directly onto the piece uh, on such a wet surface, you get a really nice contrast between the matte and gloss. These techniques I've showed you are meant to be sort of layered on the painting when it's dry and then you continue, let it dry, and then you continue again. But there's a certain point where you, I'm gonna stop and just sign the piece. But I'm just gonna look at it for a while, and step back, and just enjoy it for what it is right now. I'm Pierre from Opus Art Supplies, and happy painting.